Good evening, class. How are you? Welcome, everyone. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thank you for answering. Now I think that I am not alone. All of you are here. Great. Excellent. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening, Miss Sandra Leticia, Miss Concepcion Marina, Atilio Castillo, Mirna Lisset, Mariana Scarlett, Josue, and Norma Patricia. I am so glad, so very glad that all of you are here, class, and to see you that you are very well, okay? Pablo Adalberto is here. Okay. In one minute, we're going to get started. Tell me, class, how was your weekend? How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? Nice. Okay, relaxed. Very, very good. Okay, excellent. It is great to listen to that, okay? That you enjoyed your weekend. You relax, you had a great time, probably with your family or just at home relaxing with your beloved ones, okay? Con las personas queridas. So it is uh, exactly the time to tell you, um, welcome Miss Carla Sofia, Nelson Orlando, welcome. Tony, Juan Antonio, thank you so much for joining also. Norma, glad to have you here. It's great that all of you are here, class. Listen, I've been watching the platform. There are some students who have the 100%, but there are some students who have 0%, okay? Some of you have not been working in the platform and I need you to work in the platform because today is our class four. I got confused last Friday because I forgot about the day of the deaths that we didn't have a class. So I thought that it was our class number four, but tomorrow is our class number five because by tomorrow your work must be done. But here, let me check. I'm going to tell you class. <clears throat> I have Atilio Ernesto in homework one has been working 80%, Brandon Josue, nothing, Celia Cristina, 60%, Claudia Maria Guerrero, 100%, finish activities for week number one, Concepcion Marina, 80%, 80%, Darío Antonio, 60%, Flor de Maria, 0%. Good evening, Good evening. welcome, thank you. Herman Alejandro, 0%. Stephanie Carranza has been working 60% in week number one. Josue Neftali, congratulations, 100%. Juan Antonio Elias, 60%. Carla Sofía Argueta, 60%. Luis Miguel Corvera, 60%. Marianne Scarlett, nothing yet, aún no inicia. Marina Jansi, 60%. Mirna Lisset, 100%, congratulations. Nels, uh, Nelly Lili Beth, you need to begin working, Miss, nothing at all. Nelson Orlando, 100%, congratulations. Norma Patricia, 60%. Let me check the other part of the platform. So that's it. Uh, Pablo Adalberto, congratulations, 100%, finished everything. Sandra Leticia Peraza, 40%. And Wendy, Maricela, I need you to start working because nothing at all yet, okay? No class, I have told you what you need to be working, okay? Please, if you have not begun in the platform, I have told you, you need to get started to work on the platform, please, because tomorrow is the deadline, yeah? Mañana es el, la fecha límite a medianoche. Yo necesito actualizar esas notas, ¿de acuerdo? Teacher. Yes. Este, que yo no tengo, o estaba revisando y no me parece la plataforma para, para ingresar a hacer las clases. A la, a la plataforma de aprendizaje. No, 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 me, no, no, lo, no, o sea, no lo tengo, teacher, por eso no lo sé. Pero usted está en el grupo de WhatsApp. 
Sí. Sí. En sí. el grupo de WhatsApp le han, les han estado compartiendo los, permítame, acá hay tres. Um, ok. Hola, buenas tardes. Ok. Uy, cuántos oyentes. Miren, acá les han estado compartiendo a ustedes para el grupo de WhatsApp, la lista de reproducción de YouTube y cómo activar tu usuario en la plataforma de aprendizaje. De hecho, hoy se los compartieron. Entonces, ahí tienen el link para no, activar. Eh, es ajá, en YouTube hay un tutorial ahí para que puedan ingresar a su plataforma de aprendizaje y les agregan una nota. Ingresar con su correo el que brindó a la institución de inglés corporativo, porque si no, no le van a dejar ingresar. ¿Verdad? Con otro correo. E ingresar la contraseña genérica, la cual es 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, seguidos sin ningún espacio ni ningún otro carácter, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces les pido de favor que Ay. se vayan actualizando porque eh, yo necesito entregar ese reporte mañana, más tardar a medianoche, porque ellos necesitan enviar a Insafor para el siguiente día ese reporte, ¿sí? Bien. Techa, ¿Sí, eh, ¿hasta dónde tenemos que tener revisado? Es solo la sección 1, semana 1, sección 1. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Correcto. En esta semana les decía anteriormente, no hay examen, sino que solo es midterm, que sería la otra semana, ¿verdad? Cuando estemos terminando la unidad 2, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, para que no se les acumule, mis estimados estudiantes, eh, porque hay quienes lo hacen, pero luego se les satura y como quieren salir con todo rápido, entonces ya no obtienen el 100% en cada semana, sino que a veces obtienen el 80%, el 95%, ¿sí? Por hacerlo rápido. Mm. Ok, Stephanie Carranza, perfecto, excelente. Bien, entonces le pido de favor que trabajemos en la plataforma quienes no y congratulations who have already done everything in week number one, in section one. Felicitaciones para quienes ya culminaron con la sección uno, ya what a relief, qué alivio. Y felicitaciones también para quienes tienen el 60% del trabajo y el 80% ya les hace falta menos. Pero si alguien más tiene algún problema como en el caso de Sandra Leticia para ingresar a la plataforma de aprendizaje, no nos lo hace saber. Como les decía, hoy les compartieron, ¿verdad? Acá, cómo activar tu estado en la plataforma de aprendizaje. La, el correo tiene que ser exacto el que compartieron con inglés corporativo y pues les comparten ahí también la clave de acceso, ¿verdad? Sí. Y si aún así persiste que no pueden ingresar, entonces se comunican con alguien del staff administrativo para que les pueda apoyar, ¿de acuerdo? Este, yo la tarea 1 y tarea 2 la tengo realizada, teacher. En este curso. Ajá. Vamos a ver, permítame. M. Sandra Leticia, vamos a ver. Ajá. 40% me parece que tiene del homework 1. Entonces le, hace, le ha hecho las, la homework 1 y homework 2, pero le falta el homework 3, 4 y 5. Tres días le hace falta trabajar para que tenga el 100%, porque solo ha hecho dos tareas. Entonces, en la sección 1 tiene que trabajar las cinco tareas, porque es una tarea por cada clase. ¿Sí? Sí, sí, tiene razón. Ok, muy bien. Ah, pues sí, ya ingresó y ya sí, que sí. Que, sí, okay. sí, lo que sucede es que como trabajé fin de semana, la verdad es que no me percaté. Mm, ok, <risa> ya, yeah, sometimes sí. we get easily confused, pero mire qué bueno recordar porque así clarificamos, ¿verdad? Y okay. puede usted continuar avanzando. Muy bien, ¿alguien más con alguna duda sobre la plataforma de aprendizaje o problemita? ¿No? Ay, teacher. Eh, más que todo problema no es porque ya ingresé, sino ah, okay. que es como una consulta, cuando yo ingreso al lado de tareas me parece como una, una videoconferencia, pero ya no me permite ver, pero me aparece como... A la par le aparece un con, un, con, con un lapicito ahí es donde tiene que hacer clic No, le... eh, sí ya sé dónde debo de ingresar Ajá. pero nunca me había salido esto le voy a tomar una foto y se lo mando y me okay. dice que solo es como el video de la para ver lo de la tarea. 
Uh -huh. aparece porque normalmente aparece como el icono de un, de un video y luego aparece como un cuadro y un lapicito. Sí, eso. eso me son... aparece un libro y luego me aparece un cuadro y un lapicito. Pero me aparece que el video ya no está disponible. Pero quería ver si no hay ningún problema. ¿Cuándo, cuándo? Permítame, ¿cuándo ingresó usted a, para ver el video? Ahorita. Es que se está haciendo un ajuste en la plataforma de YouTube ah. con el canal, por eso sí. Entonces mañana ya van a aparecer los videos, ¿sí? Ah, vaya. Pero yo pero, que mañana ya, ya aparezcan. ¿Sí? Va, pero la tarea ya la Ahí hice, es. teacher. Solo tenía esa, esa, esa duda, la verdad. Voy a verificar, Marian Scarlett. Sí, porque sí tenía, no, no había ingresado, la verdad, lo siento, Tich. Sandra Leticia, veamos, usted aparece en la primera nómina. Marian Scarlett. Marian Scarlett, sí, el 100% me aparece ya, Marian Scarlett Rodríguez, sí. Ah, sí. Ok, Gracias. muy bien, sí, ok, perfecto, sí, congratulations, ya entonces, what a relief, ¿verdad? Ya tranquilidad total. Sí, ahí sí. <ríe> muy bien, perfecto. Hola, teacher. Ok, hello, ok, Stephanie, thank you. Hello, hello, everyone. Bueno, entonces ya saben, ¿verdad? Quienes eh, por alguna razón no han podido eh, iniciar en la plataforma de aprendizaje, tienen hoy y mañana para poder culminar las cinco, las cinco tareas. Recuerden, son como cuatro o cinco preguntas nada más, ¿verdad? Que tienen que hacer por clase, contestar. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Now let's continue and let's get started. Uh -huh. I'm going to start sharing my screen with you. And here, and here, and over here. Okay, class, today is November 7th, 2022. And here we go. I'm going to start sharing with you. Okay. The agenda for our video conference number four. And here we go. Greetings, feedback. The objective is in the pre-task, discuss and write about the equipment of their company. You are going to be discussing and writing some sentences about the equipment of your different companies, okay? And in the task we have, discuss and write about the equipment of your companies, your different companies. And I expect that we're going to be working at pages 15 and 16 in order to achieve our objectives for today. Again, a reminder of your homeworks and evaluations, but I did it before, right? The requirements, you know, your full name, uh, camera on, sound off, unless you are required not to do so, and active participation from all of you. The attendance 100% is the objective because it is 120 minutes of classes. The attendance is taken two times. You know that you have to activate your camera in order to uh, make effective your attendance to the class. Again, all the cameras on, the mute button, okay? Camera on, the chats are available, the breakout rooms are also available, and the ask for help button in the breakout rooms is gonna be available, and again, respect for everybody, because this is what we deserve, respect, and it is our classroom. It is virtual, but it is our classroom, okay? And here we are, tomorrow is November the 8th. So by tomorrow, you need to be over section one. Yeah, and that's it. Now, again, I am asking your cooperation. Who is going to help me reading the objectives for today's lesson? One volunteer, I have 19 participants. 
Want to read the general objective? Hello. Mm, nobody wants to read tonight. Why not? Why not? You have to practice. Okay. Okay, Miss Carla, read the general yeah. objective and later we're, uh, another partner is going to help you, okay? Carla, read please the general objective. Uh, general objective. Participants will develop competencies that will allow then to mark steps in the progress and ask and answer questions to check the my maintenance. Maintenance. Como? Maintenance. Maintenance. Proce procedures. Procedures are made in face to face and telephone conversations with others in war situations. Excellent, thank you. I need another participant to help me reading the specific objective for today. Thank you, Tony. And participants will be able to discuss and write about the equipment of their company. Excellent, amazing. Now, another participant to help me reading the class objective. Me, teacher. Not. Okay. So. Okay, um, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use tool to get to give the advice. Excellent. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use should to give advice. And I tell you, using should, you should read, you should practice English. In the breakout rooms, you should use the English language, no matter if you make mistakes, okay? The idea is to practice. So if you want to get fluency and proficiency in the English language, you should practice as much as possible. To begin with, reading the objectives, okay? So here, uh, we have this as a feedback. If you remember class last week, we were talking about the what classes. The word what is not only used to ask a question, it is also used to build clauses or sentences. What is the first thing you pay attention to when you buying a product? This is a question, obviously a WH, question word. And then we have over here the other question. What is the most important thing for you? Okay, this is a question. But if you say what is important to me is my family. It is not a question. It is a close, a what close. What is important to me is my family. Okay, what matters to me is my job. Lo que me importa es mi trabajo. What matters to me is my job. So those were the kind of W uh, of what clauses that we were practicing with last week. But also, if you remember class, we were working with imperatives, yeah? I'm here, sit down, don't go, do not walk on the grass, don't tell him you're resigning now. Don't drink alcohol. Don't eat heavy meals. These are affirmative and negative imperatives. And we said that when we use imperatives in these sentences, you don't need a subject pronoun. No matter if they are affirmative or negative, but we don't use any subject pronoun. Is that okay? Okay, and they are used to give orders, commands, warnings, or instruction. If I say, be careful, it's dangerous, yes? When we say, be careful, I'm telling to you that you need to be careful. So it is a warning, yeah? Es una prevención, como advertencia, ten cuidado, be careful. And here, for today, we have an introduction to the topic. We're going to be talking a little bit about the moral verb should. 
And here we go, okay? You know, you are familiar to this word should. The moral verb should is used in the following ways to talk about moral obligation. Examples, they should do what you suggest. People should report this sort of thing to the police. She suggested we should visit Auntie Irene more often. Rob insisted that we should think of others before ourselves. And then another use is to give advice or instructions. Para dar consejo o instrucciones. You should undo the top screws first. You should keep your credit card in a safe place. Another use of the moral verb should is to suggest that something follows on logically from what has just been said. They left here at six o'clock, so they should be home now. Also, should is used to show politeness in a conditional clause. This use is used in formal written communication. If you should decide to go, please contact us. Should you need more information, please call the manager. If you notice know these sentences are kind of rare to you, why? Si se fijan estas oraciones para cordialidad o muchísima, extremadamente cortesía en uso, se usa en eh, la comunicación escrita formal. Por eso a algunos les puede sonar como raro. If you should decide to go, please contact us. Porque, ¿qué dirían ustedes? Uh, if you decide to go, you should contact us. Yes? Pero no en la forma escrita muy, muy formal. Así es como se utiliza para mostrar cortesía, educación, ¿verdad? en una cláusula condicional. But we're going to use should to give advice or instructions, okay? Today, so here we go, class. I need you to think about one advice using should, okay? What would you advise? ¿Qué consejo o recomendación le darían a alguien utilizando should? I begin, you should go to the doctor. Okay. Now you, your turn. Would you repeat, Marina? Marina, Yancy. <laughs> Marina. Hola. Hola. Ok. <laughs> Creíamos que nos estaba colaborando con la oración, Marín. Remember, everything is recorded over here, ok? Uh, but there was a gentleman who wanted to participate. Me. Ok, Darío, please. You should drink the medicine. Excellent. Very well. You should drink the medicine. Another example. Uh, you should do exercise. Oh, very well. Excellent. Especially because Christmas is coming, right? Okay. Right. Another, uh, another example. They can be affirmative or negative. If you say you shouldn't eat uh, junk food, la comida chatarra, you shouldn't, no deberías, yeah? Okay. One more example, because you're going to be working on that. Think, think, think. You don't should go the beach in the night. You shouldn't. You should not. You shouldn't go to the beach at night. Yeah, okay. very well. Excellent. Thank you. That is a good advice. Very well. Okay, class. You don't want to participate, but you have to participate in the breakout rooms, okay? Speaking and talking a lot. So let's continue. And right now here, I, now we're going to start working in the manual. Okay. And I'm going to stop sharing this because right now 
Brandon is here. Okay, class. He, I, I have to take your attendance right now because it is 8.23, the first call of your names before we get started with the manual. Ready? Okay, ready or not, here we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, because it is a must. Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Remember, if you are only a listener too, you say, uh, here I am or present. Si, aunque estén de oyentes, para la asistencia, si contestan, por favor. Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. I saw Brandon over here joining. Present, present. Thank you, Brandon. Claudia Maria Guerrero. Claudia. Microphone. Present, present. Thank you, Miss Lady in Pink. Concepcion Marina. Present. Darío Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Stephanie Carraza. Stephanie, but she's here. Josue Neftali. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Juan Antonio Elias, here. Juan. Present teacher. Great. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present teacher. Good Thank evening. Thank you, sir. Good evening. Welcome. Marianne Scarlett. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Marianne. Marina Jansi. Okay, great. Mirna Lisset. Mirna Lisset, Hernandez Laines. Present. Thank you. Nice to listen to your voice. Nelly Lilibet. Nelly, are you here or not? No, Nelly is not here at the moment. Nelson Orlando. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Patricia. Present teacher. I saw you, yeah. Last Friday you were absent, but now you're here. Pablo Adalberto. Pablo said that he was going to be a listener. Pablo here. Present. Nelly. Okay, thank you. Aha, uh -huh, Nelly, you are here. Sandra, Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. I appreciate. Wendy. So Wendy over here. Wendy Maricela absent. Carla Sofia. Present teacher. Present. Wendy is here and Carla Sofía over here. No, todavía no habíamos llegado. Um, Sandra Leticia is oh. Wendy. Wendy is ah. absent. Present, present. Ajá, uh -huh. you are here from the beginning. Aquí está desde el principio. Sí, sí, sí. Solo estaba verificando. Okay. Eh, Wendy desde el principio ha estado acá y no contestaba. Ok, tiene que contestar. ¿Cómo chico, no, teacher? Le contesté. Really? Sí. Ah, quizá en el momento en que ingresó Nelly. Ok, class. Listen. Thank you for being here. Present, and it is present. Yeah. Stephanie, yo estoy fuera. Ya, yeah, Stephanie Carranza. Celia no ha dicho. Sí, no me he mencionado, teacher. Permítame. Thank you, tío. Pero ya tiene presente mi porque aquí está. Si se lo pudiera no. mostrar, en red, yes. Ok, Ahora, no, no, sí, no, no es que sí la vi. <risa> es que lo que sucede, miren, como uno tiene una memoria fotográfica, cuando la cámara la tienen encendida, ¿verdad? Sí, pero cuando la, lo, no la tienen encendida, uno empieza a buscar. Eh, Stephanie. Sí, ya. 
Sandra Leticia, Pablo, Norma Nelson, Mirna Lisset, Marina, Marian, Scarlett, sí. Ahora todos están. Bueno, hola chule, hoy sí todos están. Amazing, wow. Ok, class, here we go. Let's take advantage. If you remember, we were practicing last Friday with the imperatives and you were working with this cycle, yeah? In order to create chocolate. You're going to be producers of chocolates. And also for the processes, we were working with this conversation between Mrs. Nunez and Mr. Roland. So class, as a feedback, I would like to have two participants, one girl to impersonate Mrs. Nunez and Mr. Roland. Who is going to interpret Mrs. Nunez and who's going to play the role for Mr. Roland? Nelly, thank you. And I need one gentleman. Do I have boys in this class? Ah, oh, Darío, thank you so much. Let's begin. Miss Nelly, you begin. Hello, Miss Rola. Today is the first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in short of shopping the conveyor belt. Please push the red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and shake every piece. Make sure each meets the specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Very well, excellent, thank you. Only let's remember that chocolate, chocolate, the strength of the oh, uh -huh, of the of the voice when you pronounce this word is at the beginning. Chocolate, chocolate, not chocolate, no chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Okay, chocolate. And here we go. Now we're going to get started with how to use should. I share with you the different uses of should, but right now we're going to focus on should in the following use. Should is a moral verb to give advice or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. Why? Because you can give affirmative or negative suggestions or advices using should. The structure is the subject should or should not plus the verb and the complement. Some examples are, we should upgrade our system. We should not continue with the same market. They should bring new equipment. This company should broaden its target. Yeah. Do you have any question about the structure of these sentences using the modal auxiliary should? Or is it clear? Affirmative or negative? Questions? When people say you should keep silence, you should behave, okay? Here, let's write a list of suggestions so we can have an extra practice before you start with your practice in the, in the manual. If we say, for example, you should keep silence. Imagine that you are in a, in a hospital, you should keep silence. Another one, you should behave. Tú deberías comportarte, yes? Many people say that you should behave according to the situation. Deberías de comportarte de acuerdo a la situación. Another one, okay. You, you should, 
Uh, use face mask. Face mask. You should you, uh -huh, use face mask. Excellent. Because, you know, face mask. Excellent. And, but not only with should, because it is also about your opinion, what you think it is wrong or right. What if we um, built a sentence using should, but with the subject pronoun they? They should. For instance, they should use hands sanitizer. Yes, hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. Another one, but using he or she, third person singular. Let's see, he, he should. Eat healthy. He, he should eat. Yes, that is what we should do. <laughs> you should have said we should eat healthy. Oh no, that is okay. This is we should eat healthier. Deberíamos comer más saludable nosotros. Because maybe some people believe that they eat healthy, but sometimes they don't because they ask for three or four pupusas in one zero soda. Yes or no? And because they believe yes. that, they, okay, it is, there is an arbitrariness. Ahí hay arbitrariedad porque comiendo de cinco pupusas y una soda, ya saben de cuál nombre, ¿verdad? Pero zero calories, se supone zero. Ah, no, aquí ya hay balance. And that is not, that is why we say, mm, we should eat healthier. Deberíamos comer más saludable. Okay, another one, using I. I should. Uh, I should go on a diet. Yo debería ponerme a dieta. Yo debería estar a dieta. I should go on a diet. Yes. Okay. One more. Uh, using she. She should. Okay. Tell me. Take water. What? Drink water. Oh, drink water. Yes. Drink water. She should drink water. Okay. And... Okay, hmm. let's say another one with they. One more with they. They should. They should not. Okay, they should not. Smoking. Smoke. smoke. They should not smoke. smoke. Here or never? Ellos no deberían fumar acá o por siempre, in general. No. Yeah. They, okay, they should not smoke here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he should take a bus. He should take a bus. Take a bus, yes. Very well, okay. And now you should check your internet speed. La velocidad de tu internet, porque a veces dicen, Zoom no me deja entrar. Y es el Inter el que no nos deja entrar, ¿verdad? Sí, así es. Me saca la plataforma, dicen, no me quiere. Y, y manda foto y es que el Inter, tu internet, ¿verdad? No te deja ingresar. Ok, so I think that there is no problem. We have, they should not, or in the short form, they shouldn't. Yes? Ok, and we use it every day. We use it every day and also at work. Now I'm going to stop sharing this and here we get back to our manual and you are going to practice here. Now that right. we're clear about the structure class here, you are going in exercise five, you are going to complete the statements using should or should not. You can use the full form should not or shouldn't. How do we write the, the short form for the negative you remember this right shouldn't 
Yes, this is the short form for the negative, shouldn't. And now compare your answers. So you are going to work right now individually. Later, we're going to share the answers and standardize if they are affirmative or negative, okay? We are working at page 16 in your manual. Let's go over exercise number five, please. And as soon as you finish, you tell me, teacher, I'm done or teacher, I finished, okay? If you have questions, please ask me. Si hay preguntas, háganlas, por favor. Sin ninguna pena ni vergüenza, porque su pregunta puede ser la misma de 10 personas más, ¿ok? Teacher, la contracción de, de, de Choldo, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Shouldn't. Shouldn't, shouldn't, no shouldn't, porque acá no lleva, eh, sería shouldn't, 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 shouldn't I, shouldn't you, shouldn't they, shouldn't. No sería sure, 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 Okay, class, here we go. 
according to you in number one, our products be fresh. Affirmative or negative? Affirmative. So we say mm. our products <clears throat> should, yeah? So, Logically. Mm -hmm. Okay, very well. Now, number two. This company forget about quality. Affirmative or negative? Neg negative. Negative, yes. Shouldn't. Shouldn't forget about quality. Number three, we explore new markets. Affirmative. Okay. Excellent. We should explore new markets. The machinery. Negative. Yeah. Sure, no. To avoid any accident, yeah? The machinery shouldn't be old. All the employees use the machinery. Affirmative. Okay. Negative. Affirmative. Affirmative. I think that it could be in both sides. I'm going to tell you why, okay? But we're going to write over here, should. Okay, when we say should in this case, all the employees should use the machinery because they need to uh, practice it. But on the other side, it is acceptable when you say all the employees shouldn't use the machinery if they have not been trained. Yeah. Si no han sido capacitados, no deberían de usar la maquinaria todos los empleados. ¿sí? Depending on the type of machinery. Is that correct? So in both sides, it's acceptable depending on the perspective, correct? Okay, mm -hmm. and now here, you are going to go over here. It is your turn. You have to write a six line paragraph about the equipment of your company. You should and should not. Okay, for example, if I say all the Employees should uh, use the should use the uy, hold on. should use the uh, new the new computers, for example. This is one example, okay? And then, because it is a paragraph, okay? Uh, all the, uh, the managers should give a training to the employees to use correctly the new mm, software to tell you an example okay this mm -hmm. is my example but according to your uh, company you use affirmative or negative is that okay? okay but it says a six line paragraph okay, okay. because you have here one line two lines three lines it is a paragraph not a list of sentences, no lista de oraciones, sino es, um, how can I say, a, a paragraph. Es un parrafito, period, and then continue with the other sentence, okay? According to the nature of your company, you write affirmative or negative. Paragraph for the six line. Mm -hmm. Six line, yes. Why? No la estoy escuchando. Hola. Hello, hello. ¿Era conmigo la plática o con alguien más que no me escuchaba? ¿O alguien más no me escucha? Sí, la escucho, teacher. Ah, ok. Nuestra compañía tiene... 
Nuestra compañía tiene nuevo equipo. Nuevo equipo de... de, 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 de. Nuevas empresas. Nuevo, nuevo equipo. Hija. Yes, miss, tell me, how can I help you? One question. What say distribute the spaces? Distribute the spaces or assign the spaces. Asignar los espacios or distribute the spaces. Ah. Mm -hmm. Gracias. My pleasure. Employees. Employees. Nuestra compañía tiene nuevo equipo. Lo que debería entrenar a los empleados. Capacitar a el personal. Please, class, when you finish, let me know.
Are you ready, class? Hello. <clears throat> only only two, two paragraph more. Not yet. Not yet. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Okay, Mr. Severo. Well, the staff should not use the equipment. Okay. Until they, they are sure of. Los empleados no deberían usar el equipo hasta que ellos estén seguros. Sure of what they, 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 they are boy. Okay, Celia, but the last one, all the employees should update their software or the, the IT should update the software for all the employees. Or how does it work in your company? Mm. ¿Cómo funciona en su compañía? Cada empleado lo, lo actualiza. Cada, cada empleado actualiza. Oh, yes. okay, yeah, because in most of the companies, there is the IT staff, okay, the one that updates the software. Sí, en la mayoría de compañías es el departamento de IT, el encargado de, de esa situación para todos los empleados, okay? But that's good, I read it. Okay, so um, Celia finished, Nelly finished. 
Who else is done? ¿Quién más terminó ya? Nobody else, only two. Me, teacher. Okay, Tony, thank you. We are going to wait for the others. Okay, three more minutes because you need to exchange your ideas in the breakout rooms. And I have read here Celia's one. It's okay. Me, finish. Thank you, Darío. Brandon, thank you. You are done too. In three minutes, we are going to get started, okay, class? Thank you, Carla Sofia, for telling us that you are done too. In one minute, we get started. Thank you, Norma. You are done too. Class, right now it is the moment for you to share with your partners in the different breakout rooms. Later on, where some of you are going to read your paragraphs here in the main session room, but right now in the small groups, you are going to read your production, okay? The productivity that you have done tonight so far for the construction of your knowledge in the English language. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Please join your groups and begin reading your paragraphs to your partners. Okay. Thank you. I sent you the invitation, guys. Join, please.
Pablo in group number three. Thank you, Josue. Nelson in group number four. Nelson, if you are so nice. Marina Jansi in group five. Pablo in group three. Stephanie Carranza. Thank you. Stephanie, they need you in group number one, if you are so nice, okay, thank you. Hello class, here you are Atilio, Wendy and Stephanie. Begin reading your paragraphs to the other partners so you can share your different ideas, okay? Teacher, yo aún no llego a la casa, prácticamente soy de oyente. Okay, so you listen to the others to read, Miss, okay? You're going to have a listening practice, and they are going to have a reading practice. No problem, okay? Thank you for being here. Gracias, teacher. Okay, Miss, my pleasure. If they don't have any training, an employee should not to work if he do not be sure what he not all the procedure and she can only falta we nice. see we should to use protective gloves to operate the crane the cranes should receive maintenance on time if an employee do not know the correct way to operate a crane then he should receive the due training nobody should stand low a way to spend uh, there is one, one suggestion here in the second line at the end. When you say <clears throat> they should not send to one employee to operate a crane if he don't, if he doesn't have. Okay, if he doesn't have. They need training an employee should not over here, if he doesn't have in the second line. Here? No, over here, almost at the end, acá casi al final. He, he, he doesn't have, no, acá casi al final, he da, if he doesn't have, if he doesn't have, instead of don't, doesn't, porque es tercera persona es singular. Mm. Here? Mm. Uh huh. Doesn't. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have. If he doesn't have. Uh huh. That's correct. The the they need training or they require training, but it's okay, very well. Only that, congratulations, you did a good job. Thank you. Okay. Now. Yes, please. Solo que no me deja. Quiero ver. Comentan si pueden verlo. Sí, ya yes. Sé. Okay. Aclaro, all the new employees should need to read, know, and practice the edit code. It's very important because in that manual explain the normatives to do the work properly. And the personnel in the detention center should wear a face mask all the time. The client should use alcohol health and check temperature to access at the attention centers. The technician era worker should wear the helmet and special shoes to do the job. You shall not go to work if you have a temperature of body age. You should go to the doctor.
I, I, I have one suggestion. At Claro, mm -hmm. all the new employees should, uh, instead of should need, should read, porque acá should es como need. Entonces es como que esté mostrando la, la necesidad dos veces. Uh -huh. Ajá. Should read. Should read. Uh -huh. okay. should read comma, know and practice the ethic code. It is very important because in that manual, it is explained. It is, ex no, are explained. Are explained porque son las normativas, es plural, ¿verdad? Normativas. Entonces, are explained the normatives to do the work properly. And y lo demás está bien. And the personal in the attention center should wear a fe should wear a face mask or face mask, plural o singular. Porque acá A es para, ajá, entonces eliminamos la letra A. Or a face mask. Uh, así okay, está bien, yeah. así está bien. Uh -huh. Should face wear mask. face masks. Entonces acá agregamos la S. Mascarillas. Porque como está hablando de todo el personal, all the time. Uh -huh. The clients should use alcohol Hell and check temperature to access at the attention centers. The technician area workers should wear a helmet and special shoes to do the job. You shouldn't go to work if you have temperature or body ache. You should go to the doctor. Okay, very well. That's it. Congratulations. Okay. Now, the next participant. Hi, teacher. Solo que yo no tengo los seis párrafos. Okay, you read las Pero, seis líneas. Las seis líneas. Read what you have. Le, lea lo que tenga. Okay. Ah, okay. Compártale lo que tenga. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye, teacher. Que han adquirido como, como no son como, no son ¿Qué? precisamente oraciones sino que es un párrafo. Entonces, puede poner usted que, digamos, ahí en su compañía ocupan, digamos, eh, impresoras, computadoras. En... Finish reading. Yes. You are the only group that finished the reading and all of you complete the, completed the paragraphs. Todos terminaron el párrafo. Yes. Okay. Six line. Wow, this group is going to read. Okay, thank you, congratulations. Very well done. Amazing for the group. Congrats. Okay. See you, yeah, because in some groups there are people who are still working on that. Congratulations. We'll be back in about one minute, okay? Thank you. Okay. okay. Porque uh, inicialmente éramos cierto número de empleados y ciertas áreas de la empresa están bien saturadas con los espacios. Entonces, estoy diciendo que la compañía debería sumar nuevos espacios y expandir el área de comedor. Y además de eso, dar las instrucciones generales del uso de la oficina. Del equipo. But Miss, you wrote, Marina, you wrote everything in English, right? Pero lo escribió es que en inglés, ¿verdad? Ya lo habíamos dicho. Ah, pero she was bien. translating. Oh, oh okay, es que thank you. Se la había escuchado a ella. Ah, ok, great. <laughs> At my work, all the employees should clock in and out. Everybody should get on time. And everybody shouldn't work without uniform, yeah, because there is a dressing code. The employees should use your own, no. The employees should use their, their own computer. Porque como estamos hablando de plural, ¿verdad? Their own computer. All should use the printer and their own desk and chair, their own desk and chair. But the employees shouldn't shouldn't use the manager's apostrophe yes, a manager's office and shouldn't eat 
his cookies because he will be angry. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's okay. Very well, thank you. And who is this? De quién es yeah. este? Okay, mm -hmm. Nelly. Okay, great. So he gets uh, angry when someone takes any cookie. <laughs> sí. uh -huh. Okay, very good. And uh, everybody read. Todos leyeron ya su parrafito. Sí. Sí, ya la yeah. vi. Okay, great. Now uh, we're going to return to the main session room so we can listen to some other partners, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. presenting there. Okay, so here we go. Let's return. Okay, class, listen, congratulations. I was monitoring the groups and I could listen to some of your works. They are great. And um, right now it is a time for sharing here in the main session room with all the partners. So I would like to have some volunteers to share with the class. <clears throat> Maybe Miss Celia, would you like to share with your partners? Please read yours. No importa que no comparte imagen, vea, que no tengo. La tengo en el. En el no, no, no problem, go ahead. Everyone in the company should mark attendance when entering. All the employees should clean their work area. All the employees should wear gloves to cook materials. Everyone should check email in the morning. All the employees should update software and all the employees should not shouldn't eat at their Yes. Only. Very well. That is the last one is very important because in some companies you are not allowed to eat at your desk. Yeah. Some companies allow you to have a cup of coffee at your desk, but not to eat. Understanding by to eat is to have breakfast, lunch. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or maybe to have a soda, maybe, or a drink, but not to be eating because, especially when you are in the customer service, because you're not going to be eating and having a, a, a conversation with the customers. That is not appropriate, okay? Thank you so much. Uh, someone else? Uh, maybe Mr. Juan Antonio, yours. Okay. I'm going to share my desk. Tell me if uh, you can see my my desk, please. Thanks. At Claro, all the new employees. Employees should read, know, and practice the code. 
very important because in that manual are explained the normatives to do the work properly. And the personnel in the attention centers should wear face mask all the time. The clients should use alcohol help and check temperature to access at the attention centers. The technician area worker should wear a helmet and special shoes to do the job. Should, you should not or you shouldn't go to work if you have a temperature or body age. You should go to the doctor. Thank you so much. Very well done. Do we have another volunteer or do I have to choose the volunteer? Okay, please begin. Okay, our company has new equipment, so you should train um, staff, have new staff also. The Department of Informatica should make the education for training. The staff should not use the equipment until they are sure of what they are doing. So they will be kept in perfect condition. Only this. Okay, thank you, Miss. Excellent. One more participant. In the company I, I work for, we use satellites. ¿Cómo sería satélite? Satellite. Satellite to connect to the global network. Technician show always be learning about the new technology. They should have uh, they should have to attend school for the last equipment. The technician should shouldn't use all radio frequency modes because the all antenna shouldn't connect to satellite. Satellite. Only this. Thank you so much. Very well. Satellite. Don't forget satellite. Okay. Carla Sofia, would you like to share with the class? Miss Carla. Perdón. <laughs> eh, yeah. bueno. En our company, by a heat press machine, we should careful when use this machine because it heats out and we could bore ourselves. Also, when use it for make. We should read the manual before if the first time we will use. We should learn about the material about we can use and which temperature we will use the each material. We shouldn't touch the machine when turned on only with our hands and we should use temperature gloves. We should turn off immediately when finish the working uh, when finish the work, no sé cómo se podría terminar. The work in it. The ah, no, work in it. No, that's okay. That's okay. Ah, the ah, work okay. in it. Okay. <laughs> when, it. when finish the work in it. Okay, very well. Here you had the opportunity to use affirmative, a lot mm -hmm. affirmatives and negatives at the same time. Very well. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. One more participant. Me, teacher. Thank you, Miss Sandra. In my company, I should learn to use office equipment to get a better job. And I shouldn't use heavy equipment without experience to avoid accidents. Finished. To avoid accidents very well. Congratulations, class. You did a very good job. And I think that you only need to focus, right? Mm -hmm. On the structure, it is, it is not a big deal. But now we're going to continue practicing with our manual. And here we go <coughs> towards 
uh, page 15 here. What type of equipment is there at your company? Do you use it and why? I, if you ask me what type of equipment is there at your company, I would tell you. In my company, there are computers, printers, um, what else? Uh, tablets, cell phones, um, routers, and let's see, what else? Uh, air Probably conditioners, coffee, uh -huh, coffee stations. Yes, there are coffee stations. What else yeah. did you say, Miss? Okay, and if you ask me, do you use it? Yes, I use the equipment. Why? Because I teach uh, classes online and even in the classrooms, when we teach, we need to use computers and overhead projectors sometimes or TV screens. Yeah, so we, the students can see what is on the, on the computer, yeah? And also when we take them to the labs, uh, to the uh, computer labs, so they can have extra practices, yeah? If you ask me, but what about you? You have to ask and answer these questions. What type of equipment is there at your company? Because in one of the reports that I was monitoring in the previous activity, somebody was saying that they use cranes in their company. So depending on the nature of your company, you use different machinery. And do you use it depending on your position? You may use them or you may not use the machines. And why? You explain the reason why, okay? So right now, only the questions in exercise one, okay? What type of equipment is there at your company? Do you use it and why? Only speaking, you don't have to write, only speaking. Five minutes to do this activity at page 15, exercise one. Ready? We get the idea. Comprendimos? Sabemos lo que vamos a hacer. Sí. Ejercicio uno, esas tres preguntas. No writing, no writing, only speaking. Nadie escribe, only speaking activity. Here we go. Porque ahora que ya tienen el párrafo sobre la maquinaria de su de sus compañías, no problem, ¿ok? The invitation, yes, Miss. Excuse me, uh, how did page you say? Uh, 15, 15. Okay. Thank okay. you. Ok, my pleasure. Here we go. Join your groups, please. And Claudia María Guerrero. Okay. Claudia, do you remember your partners in the previous activity? In, in, hi, in number one. Uh -huh, I thought, okay, mm -hmm. number mm -hmm. one. Okay, you see the invitation, yes? No, teacher. En este momento porque ya la asigné. Sí, Claudia? Okay, great. Stephanie Carranza in group number one. Solo de andar a pie. Teacher. Yes, Atilio. Only. Only the three questions. In exercise one. Only okay. asking and answering, okay, about the machinery. It's just some points. Uh -huh. Exercise one. The machinery that is available in your company, and if you use the machinery, yes or no, and you say why. Y explica por qué la utiliza o por qué no la utiliza esa maquinaria, okay? Andale. Lo que escribimos, okay. ¿verdad? Yes, that's it. Oh, okay, okay. Sí, porque no, no explica cómo hacen ellos. Say the statement below are true or false. Diga si las siguientes. ¿Por qué se lo no sé, declaración, creo que sería la siguiente. Sí, statement, es como 
lo establecido, ¿eh? son verdaderos o falsas. ¿Cómo es el proceso de manufactura en su compañía? Oiganme, estas son las tres preguntas que ustedes tienen que estar trabajando. Les dije las del ejercicio 1. Por eso es solo speaking. Okay. What type of equipment is there at your company? Do you use it? And why? Solo esto. Estas solo tres, pero sí, solo eso. Porque como ahora que ya escribieron el párrafo, ya saben qué tipo de maquinaria hay en su compañía. Entonces, por ejemplo... Tony le pregunta a Luis Miguel, what type of equipment is there at your company? And they, he starts mentioning the machinery, okay? Then you ask, do you use it? Yes, why? No, I don't, and why? Yeah, and that's it, okay. only, o solo esto. Por eso es solo speaking, okay? Okay. 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 Um... Las comparto. Pero la uno dice, ¿cómo es el proceso de fabricación? ¿no? Uh, dice que equipo, ¿qué tipo de equipo? Estas estoy. Ajá. Oiganme, tipo? oiganme, oiganme, no se confundan, porque puede ser que alguien esté en las preguntas de acá abajo y esas no son, son las del ejercicio uno. Do you use it and why? If I ask Norma, Norma, what type of equipment is there at your company? And then she starts telling me. Y ella me dice el tipo de equipo que hay en su compañía dependiendo la naturaleza del, de, de la compañía con la que trabaja. Oh, correcto. Y luego, do you use it? Yes, I do or no, I don't. And then I say, why? Imagínese que ella trabaja en una compañía de carga y le menciona, ¿verdad? Todo lo, lo, el equipo que hay pesado. And then you ask, do you use it? No, I don't. No, why? I don't. Because I am an administrative. I am the receptionist. I am the secretary. I am the manager. I don't know. Okay. There is a reason. That is why it is only speaking. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, okay. 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 okay Mirna. Eh, eh, café y todo eso ahí tenemos una máquina de capuchino verdad entonces yo soy la que me encargo de prepararla de, de tenerla lista ahí para solo que, que agarre Okay, and the others finish asking and answering the three questions. Todos contestaron ya las tres preguntas. Yes, because it's, group, sim um, it's similar. Yes, uh, it's similar equipment. Yeah, or really, but you don't work in the same company. No, because is the company similar? Uh, no sé. Uh, es casi. Es similar lo... Uh, What they do. El giro. Ah. <laughs> Lawyer. Lawyer. Mm -hmm. So you sell, your company sells services. Yes. Ah, ok, great. The same as Concepción and Sandra. Mm -hmm. And Nelson? Mm -hmm. Different. Lo manejando. Oh, ok. Mm -hmm. He's right. Okay, it, it, today it has been kind of easy for you, right? Uh -huh. it, it took me in the, yeah, the, the lesson because of the coincidence. Okay, yes. class, very well, congrats. In one minute we get back, okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Finished. Yes. Okay, yes. all of you ask and answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's return to the main session room, okay? Okay.
cameras on class because I'm going to call your names to take your second attendance. But, but, but today I'm going to start the other way around. Pero ahora voy a iniciar a la inversa para que los últimos en la lista sean los primeros. Y no me digan, no me menciono. Ok. O no me había mencionado todavía. No. Ok. Here we go to make it more, uh -huh, more balanced. Let's wait for the other partners to join. There is one, two groups still working. But very soon they are, go they are going to return. Okay, class, here we go. <clears throat> Celia Cristina. Present. <laughs> the other way around. Um, Carla Sofia. Present. Great. Wendy Maricela. Wendy. Present. Okay. Present. Excellent. That's the way. Present. Here I am. Okay. Okay. Sandra, Sandra Leticia. Present. Thank you. Pablo. Where are you? Pablo Adalberto. Present. Great. Thank you. Norma Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Norma. Nelson yeah. Orlando. Present teacher. Okay, great. Nelly Lilibet. Present. Mirna Lisset. Present. Thank you, Miss Mirna. Marina Jansi. Present. Thank you, Miss Marina. Scarlett. Present teacher. Thank you, Mariana Scarlett. Luis Miguel Corvera. I'm here, present teacher. Thank you, sir. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Josue, Josue Neftali. Present teacher. Garcia, thank you. Stephanie Carranza. Darío, thank you, Miss Darío Antonio. Present teacher. Great. Concepción. Say hello, Miss. Otherwise, we think that your microphone is not working. Okay, but thank you. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Clau. Brandon. Brandon Present. Josue. Thank Present you, teacher. Mr. Brandon. And Atilio. Here I am. Thank you so much. Okay. Now listen. You like to go beyond, one step beyond at the first time. Les vacina irse un paso más allá desde el inicio. Ya estaban algunos en la conversación. Todavía. Les dije speaking, pero de las tres preguntas del ejercicio uno, yo no estaba en la conversación y otros estaban en las preguntas de análisis de la conversación. <laughs> Solo había ahí como dos grupitos que estaban en lo que, pero es bueno. Good attitude. So right now we go over the conversation. Ahora sí vamos sobre la conversación. And what happens over here, guys? Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. We have Peter and Bertha, two partners, and they are using the structure should. In exercise three, you have to say if the statements below are true or false. In other words, if they are affirmative or negative, considering the information that we have in the conversation. So here we go. Bertha, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is, yes, yes. 
getting new equipment, I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century, right? Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting, okay? So probably they have important uh, activity in the company and they are part of the, maybe the stockholders, I don't know, or the managers. So again, Bertha, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. That, and that is getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. You read in pairs and then you switch roles, okay? You are going to use your names in order to avoid Peter or Bertha. No, you use your names if in the group there are four people. So we have uh, two and two and then they switch roles. If there are three students, then one is going to play the role twice. Afterwards, you go over exercise three and you answer if they are true or false. But how is the manufacturing process in your company? What do you think about the equipment at your company? Does it need to be upgraded? Why? Here, say if the statements below are true or false, but they are not the statements, they are questions, yes or no. Porque las statements son oraciones, afirmaciones, pero acá, they are questions. Aha, uh -huh. how is the manufacturing process of your company? Mm. But here, uh, let's see, how is the... Aha. Uh, uh -huh. uh, our company should improve the manufacturing process because maybe it is old fashioned. But the thing is that true or false, in my opinion, doesn't apply in these two exercises. Yes or no? Yes. Uh -huh. What do you think about the equipment at your company? Does it need to be upgraded and why? So you provide the answers according to the information in this, in this conversation, okay? Forget about true or false because it doesn't apply because they are questions, okay? Did we get it? Si comprendimos, primero leemos la conversación. Eh, pareja, luego intercambiamos roles, luego esperamos que los otros compañeros, ¿verdad? La lean, intercambien roles, van a usar sus nombres verdaderos, sustituyendo Bertha and Peter, y acá vamos a contestar estas preguntas considerando esta información. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, now yes. it's time to go and practice. Here we go. Go to your groups. Go to your groups, join your groups. Thank you class for joining. I appreciate that you join to your groups. Pablo in group number three and Stephanie in group number one. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Peter. Atilio Peter. <laughs> Yes? Yes. Berta, do you think... Berta, no, uh, Wendy, Wendy. Because you're going to read with Wendy, Maricela. Uh, hello. Okay. Hello. No, yes, hello. hello. Otro hello. me quiere, teacher, ya no, la vi. No, es que eso no, Atilio, que no se le escucha cuando le llamo, ¿verdad? 
Yes. Quizás solo me hace sí, pero el micrófono apagado. Y así como, linda. <risa> y fíjese Wendy. que sí la quiero hoy porque a Tilio le estaba diciendo Berta y usted ni cuenta se dio y yo le digo, Wendy, Wendy, porque es con Wendy que va a practicar. Ya ve que sí. Ah, okay. Uh, ok, bye, bye. Wendy, <risa> Wendy. I see, I think that we showed what other companies are doing. And that is? Mm, there is getting new, equip new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21, como se dice ahí, 21? 21st, 21st 20. century. Okay, 21st century. Thank you. Okay, repeat after me, Norma. Equipment. Equipment. Okay. Equipment. The equipment. Okay, very well. 21st okay. century. 20, 21st century. That's correct. Okay, continue with the practice. Thank you. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. 21st. 21st century. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Yeah. Yes. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay. 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 No, hay que cambiar los nombres ahí. Celia, no, hay Celia Berta. <laughs> Celia, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. What? Why do you ask? Because is we do so. We reduce cost. I see. I think we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Thank you. Okay. Concepción, the only thing. I believe so. Why do you ask? I believe so. Why do you ask? I believe eh, so. Okay. Equipment. Equipment. Okay. Continue practicing. Okay. Um, Nelson, do you think that our company should improve, improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. What did you ask? Because if I see, I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is getting the equipment. I mean, we should not have the some machines with the some programs. We should be in the second first century. Right. Maybe we should take about that in the next meeting. Yes. Teacher. Teacher. Equipment. 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 Uh -huh. Should. Should. Should, for example, should. in the same program, we should be in the 21st century. 21st century. Uh, right. 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk. We should talk about that in the next meeting. We should talk about that in the next meeting. And, okay. Did all of you switch in the practice? Yeah. Ya todo practicar, ok. No, no, no. Que pase, que teacher. Eh... Stephanie está de listener. Oh, yes. Ajá, pero con yes. Claudia María sí practicaron. No. no. Ahorita También vamos de listener. 
no, ah, no, no, con no. ella van a practicar. Ok, sí, ahorita, recuerden, vamos. después que termine la práctica con Claudia, eh, contestan las preguntas del number three, ok? Ok. okay. Bye, continue. Let's continue. El because. El because. We do so. so. Ajá. Sí, we eh, costs. unir esas palabras creo que Because if we do so, because if we do so, because if we do so, porque si hacemos eso, because if we do so, because if we do so, we reduce costs. Because if we do so, because if we do so, because if we do so, because if we do so. Igual que wearing new equipment. Equipment, equipment. Equipment, sí, siempre equipment, se me olvida. Getting que... new equipment, getting new equipment, equipment, getting new equipment. equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Tenemos que modernizarnos, está diciendo en otras palabras, ¿verdad? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, because of the, before the pandemic, the lockdown, remember that in many companies, even the, the desktops or the laptops were kind of slow and old fashioned, right? And that was a troublesome situation during the lockdown because everybody using the, the Wi-Fi and the computers. So it made them even slower than they used to be. Las hacía más lentas de lo que eran, ¿sí? Porque en algunas um, compañías cada tres o cinco años les gusta, le gustaba invertir en equipo nuevo, ¿sí? Pero ahora ya no. Tienen que quizás cada año o año y medio, ¿verdad? Por las plataformas tan fuertes que son. Ok, very well. Sí, porque antes incluso no ofrecían el Wi-Fi de 50. Bueno, ofrecen de 50, pero te dan de 15. <ríe> y eso no, listen to him. Ajá, uh -huh. and listen to his background. Eh, eh, watch to his background. Y vean el, el, el ¿verdad? <ríe> el, el protector de, de, de que tiene atrás. Ok, so he gave us the answer. Nos dio la respuesta. No, for real. We pay for 50, but we receive 15. Ya. Yeah? Pagamos 50 y no dan 15, yes or no? I don't say a word better. <laughs> Mejor no digo nada. No en claro, en claro. Oh, <laughs> obviously. Oh, obviously, okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, class, did all of you practice and give a, did you give an answer to the questions? Ya respondieron las preguntas? No. Hey, okay, no. go over that, please. Please go over that, okay? Thank you, bye. Porque la verdad es que como no son afirmaciones, no que son como preguntas, va porque information question, este? information Sobre question. Por eso les dije que no que se olviden de true or false y que contesten de acuerdo a la información que está en la conversation, ¿ok? Yeah. Ok. Ah, ok. Ok. ¿Qué opinas de tu empresa? Dice, thank you. Necesita ser actualizado para la conversación, dice. With a new programs. I think. Me parece. Uh -huh. Y la segunda sería, what do you think about the kidnap at your company? The kid that is old. It's old. Does it does it need to upgrade? Why? Yes, because um, the company needs a uh, new programs and new machines. Actually, machines. Up updated machines in order to give a better service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So ready to get back? 
Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's wait for the other partners to return. I have one, two, three groups are still working, but the platform is going to bring them back. Okay, listen, I told you that the the sentences are interrogative sentences and they are information questions. They are not the statements to say if they are, they are true or false. I think there was a mistake in there, right? So right now, let's try to provide an answer to these questions. How is the manufacturing process in your company? Maybe one is asking to the other and the answer should be, is it fast or low? modern or old? The process is old. Okay. The uh, process is old. old or antique. Now, what do you think about the equipment in your company? It is, how is it? It is because they are suggesting to, to change it, right? By more modern. So it is? Older. Old-fashioned, maybe. Antigua, yeah? No. Old-fashioned. And then, uh, does it need to be upgraded? Why? Yes, because in a conversation, he getting new equipment and new That's programs. It is Actually, programs. Necessary to get new equipment equipment and softwares yes. and new softwares yeah because that is the conversation about right that they might discuss it in the new in the next meeting yeah so the process is old this is what the or, or slow uh it is old-fashioned the equipment uh, ya pasó de moda antiguo. Yes, because it is necessary to get new equipment and new softwares for the new equipment, obviously, right? Yeah, very well done. And what about your company? In your company, the equipment, is it modern or more or less? Let's say more or less. Yeah, modern. Okay, more. Okay, class. Thank you so very much for joining to the class today. Brandon, you're going to stay with me, okay? Brandon Zavala, hello. Yes, yes, Okay, yes, yes. for the rest of the class, have a good night. Enjoy your relaxing time. Happy sleep. See you tomorrow, okay? Don't forget to work in the platform. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Los videos no los van a encontrar disponibles porque están... Bye bye. Están actualizando eh, la plataforma, ¿ok? Pero okay. las prácticas están. Bye bye. See you okay. tomorrow. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye bye. 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 See, See you. you. Mm. Thank you for joining. Take care. Bye. Sleep well. Bye. Happy sleep. Bye. bye. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Bye. Only Brandon stays with the teacher. <clears throat> ok, Brandon. Here we are. Sí, sí, eh, comentarle, eh, perdón, que la cámara de esta computadora no sirve ah, okay. la grande, se, se me arruinó. Okay. Y bueno, comentarle que yo soy de nuevo ingreso, ah. eh, hace poquito comencé, sí. Ajá. Pero me, eh, me hicieron la, ¿sí? 
es decir, me, me no estaba la... con los grupos anteriores. Tomó no, un no, test. ¿Usted no, tomó yo... un test? Sí, sí, yo estoy, Ajá. bueno, por decirle sí, yo estoy perdido. De igual Ajá. forma me hicieron ese test y pues apliqué para el módulo 5. Ajá. Porque este, a mí más que todo le entiendo el inglés en la lectura, no en el ISEN. O sea, el ISEN me cuesta bastante captar Ajá. como que las palabras y eso. Y se me el vocabulario. Confuso. El vocabulario, sí. Eh, de igual forma le comenté a la, la señorita que si era posible... Este, ponerme que en el módulo 3 creo Ajá. y me dijo que ya no se podía porque la verdad siento que ya ahorita ya todos van en, o sea ya es como que ya todos saben lo que, lo que usted está diciendo todos captan y yo me quedo ahí un poquito perdido. Pero, pero Brandon, veamos por ejemplo en la plataforma sí. usted ha ingresado a la plataforma de aprendizaje para hacer las tareas Sí, sí Ajá, ¿y cómo siente ahí los ejercicios? Pues lo siento un poco complicados porque es que no sé, es que el test lo sentí súper fácil, no sé, lo sentí bien práctico. Pero ya acá el vocabulario es bastante técnico, ¿verdad? Este sí, nivel. sí, Vaya, sí, es eh, bastante técnico. Entonces, vea, eh, usted ya comenzó a trabajar en la plataforma, Brandon. De momento no. Vaya, entonces, Porque... si gusta, puede ingresar en este momento a la plataforma de, de aprendizaje. Porque así sí. hace, hace, abra eh, la sección 1 y lo vamos a ir trabajando y yo le puedo ayudar, ¿ok? Ok. Bye. Sí, y este y me, me puede compartir pantalla para que yo vea cómo lo sí. va trabajando. Sí, solo voy a conectar el WhatsApp entonces acá. ¿Por WhatsApp? Sí, para poder acceder a la página. Ah, vaya, sí, porque yo le podría compartir la página eh, acá, ¿verdad? Pero lo interesante es que lo haga usted para que ya le quede su trabajo eh, registrado en la plataforma, ¿sí? Sí. Si no sería doble, ajá. Sí, de igual forma, o sea, ya no es posible, me dijeron este... Sí, por el tiempo y sobre todo como ya viene final de año, ¿verdad? Sí, también. Ay, sí, entonces, eh, mire... Es bueno que me lo haya dicho y me lo hubiera enviado por mensaje porque así lo hubiera ubicado con compañeros que tienen como aquel don de, de compartir con los que saben menos, ¿sí? Sí. Entonces sí. voy a tratar de, de, de agruparlo con ese tipo de, de compañeros, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, de acuerdo, está bien. Para que se le facilite un poquito más el proceso, ¿sí? Muy bien. Entonces... Sí, igual he estado practicando en la empresa este, Listen. Eh, estaba poniendo ahí videos en YouTube porque la verdad ahí he aprendido algo bastante. Sí, pero también, Brandon, déjeme decirle que eh, en, la, en el manual vienen unos links de listening, ¿verdad? En ese... Hay, en ese manual. En las páginas de abajo, por ejemplo, le voy a compartir pantalla en lo que usted busca ahí en WhatsApp. Vaya, Vaya veamos, sí. yo le comparto acá. Mire, acá, en esto que hemos estado trabajando ahora, video about a man talking about company equipment. Acá hay un video de un hombre hablando acerca de el equipo de su compañía, ¿sí? Para reforzar este tema. Y luego en este otro link, exercises to practice shouldn't, shouldn't. En este link, ¿verdad? Es sobre gramática. Entonces usted va a encontrar ejercicios para practicar la estructura que estamos viendo. ¿Sí? Ah, ok. Todos sí. van amarrados. Entonces, usted explora. Aquí hay otros, mire. Para expandir tu vocabulario con estas eh, eh, flashcards o tarjetas, ¿verdad? De los procesos relacionados a la manufactura. ¿Sí? Que es lo que hemos estado viendo. Luego, acá se le ofrece un video acerca de una guía tú uh, eh, hacia las maquinarias, ¿verdad? Entonces, estos sí. videos y estos ejercicios van relacionados con los temas que estamos viendo. Nada más que no se los puedo poner porque si no, no alcanzarían a tener la práctica. Y usualmente terminamos después de las 10, ¿verdad? De sí, la sí, hora, y eso me gusta. Eso me gusta de la clase porque la hace este, bastante interactiva. O sea, la práctica es, es lo que debería de ser, ¿verdad? Correcto. Y acá, miren, la página 11 tiene dos videos que ah, les refuerzan. Ajá. Watch this video about quality in manufacturing. Este video es sobre el proceso de calidad 
en la manufactura de, de los productos. Ajá. Y el siguiente es, eh, watch this video about a manufacturing engineer, un ingeniero en manufactura. Eh, ajá, entonces él eh, presenta este video, ¿verdad? Para que tengan sí. un conocimiento más amplio. Entonces yo le sugiero, Brandon, que eh, use estos links que están acá para practicar su listening, la gramática también, ¿verdad? Y vienen algunos otros que hay algunos ejercicios que ustedes los trabajan, hacen complementos, ¿sí? Entonces sí. acá teníamos este y acá tenemos este otro. Mire, que es lo que hemos estado viendo, ¿sí? Y así poco a poco se va a ir este usted... Familiarizando. Y... Correcto, así es, ¿de acuerdo? Lo que, lo que puedo hacer entonces es quizá de, eh, este, de, de, antes de cada clase puedo como que prepararme, ver los videos y ya... Y la conversación que... también, las la conversaciones conversación. que aparecen en el manual. Si hay vocabulario o alguna duda, usted me pregunta, así como hacen okay. algunos compañeros. Sí. Incluso en los breakout rooms ellos me preguntan. Pero si logró ingresar eh, a... Sí, sí. Vaya, entonces eh, veamos el ejercicio 1. En la sección 1 es donde va a iniciar, ¿verdad? Ok. Vaya acá, section one. Y ahí en expandir todo, haga clic en expandir todo. Así ah, está. Entonces haga, haga clic en homework one. Sería. Eh... Ahí está en lo correcto. Solo hágale clic en expandir en todo. Esta. Sí, en esa, en esa, ahí, en, ahí. Click over there. Vaya, yo le enseño el proceso. Hágale clic. No le da acceso. En, no. home, en homework. En homework, no, acá abajo, ve, abajo de unit one, donde está el, el tick. El acá, acá, Ajá, sí, ahí. Sí. Haga clic ahí. Bueno, ahí Ajá, está. Muy bien. Entonces usted va a hacer clic no en el video, sino que en el lapicito. Ahí, ahí. Y ahí va a ir contestando. Mire, todas son de selección múltiple. Veamos el uno. If you want to pass your exams, you must study very hard first, next, then, or finally. Si quieres pasar tus exámenes, debes estudiar mucho. Primero, después, luego o finalmente. ¿Cuál será? Sería primero. Ajá. ¿Y cuál es la palabra primero? First. First. Ajá. Y así clic ahí. Bye. Then you scroll. Baja. David woke up late and he was late for work. David woke up late and first. Next, then, or finally, he was late for work. ¿Cuál será? And David was. Se levantó tarde y. Sí, sí. Primero uh, llegó tarde al trabajo. Al trabajo. Luego oh. llegó tarde al trabajo. Después llegó tarde al, tra al trabajo. O finalmente llegó tarde al trabajo. And... Primero. Finally. Ajá. Sí, sí. Es de ir como poniéndole atención a lo escrito, ¿verdad? Sí. Bye. And then, uh, Michael, about Michael. Y son cuatro o cinco preguntitas que va a ir contestando siempre. Michael, the project last week. Uh, eso quiere decir la semana pasada, ¿verdad? Finish, the project last week. First, next, then, or finally. Um, finalizó el sí, finalizó proyecto, el proyecto la, se, la, la semana, semana pasada, pasada. Ajá. sería luego finalmente eh, next, el siguiente o primero y <coughs> está un poco confusa bueno no sé eh, podría finally. ser final ajá, ajá. Y acá sí, quizás sí, es, no. ajá, so you click here on finally, haga clic en finally, y acá probablemente revisemos number two, revisemos la número dos, ajá, David woke finally. up late and then, y luego llegó tarde al trabajo, podría ser, sí, porque como sí, ya también. usamos finally acá, entonces so let's click on then, haga clic aquí on then. then, ajá, y luego, o consecuentemente llego tarde al trabajo, ¿verdad? Number four. When you cook vegetables, you should wash them first, next, then, or finally. 
Donde yo cocinaba vegetales. Tú debes lavarlos. Ay, lavarlos. Uh -huh. Primero. Ok. So. Sería. Then. No. No, no, no. First. First, ok. Relax, relax. Sí. And then Tom and Sarah travel a lot. They don't know where They to don't go. Know where to go. Tom and Sarah travel a lot. They Sarah. don't know where to go. First, Sarah. next, then, or finally. Tom and Sarah viaja mucho. Ellos no saben a dónde ir. Primero. No. No. Porque como <laughs> viajan mucho, they don't know where to go. Next. Next. Ajá, probably. Yo digo probablemente es. Y si usted le, le hace clic en enviar, le va a decir la nota. Y si, eh, depende de cómo esté la plataforma, eh, si hay algún error, lo puede volver a tomar. Sí, sí, eso escuché. Ajá, ya puedo so, yo retomar. Ah, ok, vaya. Entonces, mire, yo les aconsejo que después de cada clase se queden unos tres minutos haciéndolo. Haciendo los ejercicios de esto, porque van relacionados al tema que hemos visto, ¿sí? Sí. ¿De acuerdo? Vaya, entonces eh, ya ven, no es mucho. Y las actividades únicamente serían solo preguntas, solo estas preguntas. Sí, no esto, debería... eso. No, esto acá, esta es la tarea 1. De ahí usted es hace aquí la tarea 2, 3, 4 y 5. Cuando usted termina acá, le hace clic en siguiente y ya serían las de la semana 2. Ah, ok. Ajá. De acuerdo. Lo que, y este, lo que no entendí es que cada viernes eh, ya tengo que tener completa la, todas las sección, tareas que recibo en la semana. Así es. Pero como tuvimos día de asueto el, el miércoles y como comenzamos el, el, sí, el día de los difuntos y como comenzamos el día martes, por eso el día, cada día martes es que, tiene que debe tener completas las tareas. En esta ah, semana, okay. la primera semana, no hay examen. Pero en la segunda semana sí hay un examencito de unas cinco o diez preguntas, creo. ¿De ¿Siempre acuerdo? lo habilitan acá? Sí, siempre. Usted, sí, usted ah, le okay. va dando siguiente acá y ahí le va a ir apareciendo. Hoy por el momento están actualizando el sitio, por eso no aparecen los videos de las clases. ¿De acuerdo? Porque okay. aquí es el Entonces, video de sí. cada clase que usted puede ver como refuerzo, ¿sí? Sí. Ok. Voy a tomar en cuenta entenses lo de los videos de la, de, de lo, del manual del que manual. estamos viendo. Ajá, sí. y acá. ¿De acuerdo? Sí, y ya porque va a ver sí, que va a mejorar, hacerle... se va a ubicar, se va a ubicar. <ríe> porque el primer día fue como que... What? Frustrating. <ríe> o sea, ah. todos hablaban en inglés y yo... <ríe> hey, pero le entienden bastante bien todos. Sí, o sea, verdad, bien bastante. Genial, sí. Uh -huh. Vaya, pues, pero usted también pero lo puede bueno. lograr. Todo es Gracias. que se adapte, es de adaptación, ¿ok? Sí. Y de así, práctica. Correctísimo, así es. Así es que ya comprendió cómo se va trabajando esto. Sí. Sí. Vaya, gracias. perfecto. Entonces, entonces no, no, no hay problema. Y ahora con el tema de ahora, ¿tuvo alguna duda? ¿O vocabulario? Eh, no, no. ¿Todo bien? No, la verdad, esta clase estuvo, la sentí más fácil que la anterior. Ajá. Sí, está un poco como. Sí. Es como que de, sí era de ponerle como que un poquito más de atención porque a veces es capaz de confundir un poco la conversación. Ok, muy bien. Perfecto, entonces. Vaya, entonces ahí usted le da a enviar y ya, 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 ya quedamos okay. bien, ¿verdad? Cómo hacerlo. Y si tiene algún sí. problema, usted me puede enviar un mensaje. Si le da pena, me envía un mensaje así como ahora, ¿verdad? Que me necesitaba, sí, que necesitaba okay. el refuerzo y yo con gusto se lo, se lo di. ¿De acuerdo? Gracias, teacher. Okay, Gracias. No problem. Gracias. Excelente. Ok, have a good night. Thanks. And Igual, good luck. Buena good suerte. Have a good Gracias. night. See you Thank tomorrow. You. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.